Right, this is the Western Digital Elements. It has 10 terabytes of storage in it. It's brand new. And what I want to do today is take the hard drive out of there and use it on my NAS drive. And you might be thinking, why the hell would you want to do that? Why not just go out and buy an internal one and use that and just plunk it straight into your NAS drive? Because it's about 80 odd pound dearer than if I was to buy this as a whole package. So it's cheaper for me to buy this than it is the hard drive on its own. Yeah, I know it's crazy, but that's how it is. So they call it shucking or shuck, and basically you, broke you break open this case and you take the hard drive out and you put it in your NAS drive. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I've already got some tools ready. One of the things you need is something like a credit card. I've got this. It's a bit of place. It's a thermal compound paster. So I'm using that. It's just the same as a credit card. So I'll quickly show you around the, the box. Because I know how much you don't like to see around the box. <laughs> Tells you all about it on the back. And let's see what you get inside. So basically you get your hard drive. Stick that out there. Uh, what else you've got? You have a power brick. With, this is a three pin connection and a two pin connection. So you can just swap it over. Uh, your instructions. Uh, what else you've got? Uh, quick connect for your plug. How to do your plug. Should be quite easy though, shouldn't it? And a USB 3 cable and that's it chuck the box out of the way we're not going to worry about the rest of the stuff this is the baby we're most interested in now before you start doing the shucking one thing to bear in mind you should test the hard drive first just to make sure it works because there's no point in doing all this and you find out it doesn't work because you're going to have to send it back so i'm going to go and test this and we'll be back in a second right so it works fine it loaded up I think it said it used 100 megabits of a data and that's about it and it had 9.9 .9 gigabytes of storage on it. I'm not sure how they class that as 10 gigabytes but that's what it says. Anyway, let's get on with the shucking, shall we? Get these other bits out of the way. Get the screwdrivers. I've got a screwdriver, two flat edge screwdrivers, my little credit card and this. Uh, they're, all, they're all saying online you should use credit cards, but I'm not cutting out any credit cards. So basically, you can, if you can get your nail in there, you can lift it up a little bit, like that. Get that in there. So that's in there. We need to find another slot so it slides in better. Come on, baby. Come on. And I'm not taking the plastic off because uh, if I have to send it back, it's still sealed for any reason, so if it packs up in the future. Right, so I've never done this before. Come on. Oh, there we go, I mean, I mean. So, we're gonna swap her over with this. Oh, I heard it click. Move it about. I'm trying to not break it because we want to re might want to reuse it. So what I'm going to do is get one of my screwdrivers, stick that across like that, to hold it in place, or hold it open. There you go. So that's one side done. Another screwdriver. There is no proper way of doing it. It's whatever suits you best. So turn her over. Don't try not to close her back up. Oh, you scraper. Now, now same again this side. Oh, 
Oh, I mean, I mean. There you go. We're there. I think we're there, people. Yeah, we're there. So we pulled it out a little bit. That was quite easy. So, yeah. So then you just pull it out. And there you go. Right, let's just check, see what model it is. This is the E. M A Z, and as far as I know, I do believe that's a, a red, a Western Digital red. As far as I know, could be wrong, but let me know in the comments what you, if I'm right or wrong. It'd be interesting to find out. So yeah, so that's basically it. So now we all we've got to do is pry that out now. Like I said, I've never done this before, so that's a first for me. And I do believe you have to push it one way. Let's get this little clip. This is the little, your little LED lighting, I do believe. Not sure how that comes apart. Oh, it's come out that end, does it? Does that, oh, that just pushes in there, does it? Oh, I see. That just pushes in there, pulls out. So I could leave that like that. All oh, right, okay, so we just push it. It does move one way or another. So that's moving quite nicely. Try not to break it, Yorkie. You've got your connections on that end. So we're just going to ease it out gently. Move the rubber out of the way. That's that one. Virtually, that's that one out of the way. Move this top one out of the way as well. That's it. I think it should just pull out now. There you go. So you get these four little rubber mounts. Try not to drop the hard drive because the worst thing you can do is vibration. I don't know how these go back. Hopefully I never have to use it. Move that out of the way. In fact, oh no, I'll wait a second. What we do now, what we need now is a screwdriver to release this. So I have my little screwdriver kit and it's really handy, these little things. that it comes with everything you need so we need a Phillips screwdriver fit perfectly another one on the side see that I think it just slides off. Oh, it does. There you go. That was so easy. Right, now we need to find out if it's going to work. Well, we know the hard drive works, but is it going to work inside my NAS drive? Because from what I understand is, and I don't know if they changed it, you have to cover one of these pins here. And it's the third one from this end, the one, two, three. Apparently you can cover all three of them over for it to work in your computer. But I think it might be different on a NAS. I think you can leave it in there or not cover it over and it should still work. So we will be trying that right now, see if it works. Right, here's my NAS drive. That one's got a hard drive in. The other three are empty at the moment. So we're going to take it out. Looks like... Looks like it's a little bit dusty. <laughs> Quick wipe over. Take these little covers off. Like so. Right, so I believe it's like that. And basically all you do is push it on. Make sure the holes line up. Yep, put one of these on first, so flat end goes this end. Quite easy, and just slot her in. Hopefully you should work, if not I will have to cover them three holes up, or three connections.
It's the third one in we want from the middle. See, it, that sushi powers up. Right, so that was easier than what I thought it would be. I wasn't sure what sort of problems I was going to have. I did watch a few videos on YouTube and it was a lot easier than I thought. I put the uh, hard drive in my NAS drive and it worked straight away. I've now got it raiding. I've got it on Synology's Hybrid Raid. That's the one that I think is best to suit me because as my storage expands, I can put in any size drive that I can afford to buy and it will recognise it as that drive and it will still raid it and give me extra storage on top of that. So that's what I've gone for and that's why I'm using Synology's Hybrid Raid. So if you have any questions about that, please post them below and I'll try and answer the questions for you. But yeah, very pleased, very pleased how easy it is to do. And I'm so pleased about how easy it was to do. I've all done another one. And that will be here in a couple of days' time. So I'm looking forward to doing that again. Like I say, it was easy. I didn't have to cover over that little connection like I said I might have to. I didn't have to do that. I just plugged it into my NAS drive and away she worked. You might have to do it if you plug it into your PC because I do understand it makes it loop. Uh, but it doesn't seem to do it on the NAS drive. So I plugged it in there and that's what I wanted it for, was for the NAS drive. So with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.